Hello, this is Izzy's Tarot, and thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, as I always say, but you came here, so that must mean the universe has a message to give me, give to you. So, thank you once again for coming to my channel. If you could, please think about it. Please subscribe. I promise you that you'll always get heart space information, intuitive information. If you would subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. I am here today to do a Capricorn mid-January love reading. A Capricorn mid-January love reading. What's going on in your love life, Capricorn? What's going on in your love life? Let's see. Spirit guys, can you show me? Um, All of my readings are heart space readings and they're also done um, for your higher good. I, I don't look at the dark side of things. I tell you exactly how they are, but I don't believe that it's, it's, it's darkness in, in certain things. I think that if it's something that you need to tweak, then you know you need to tweak it. But um, they're also in the higher area, in the higher realm of thinking. So, Spirit Guys, let's go, Capricorn. Spirit Guys, can you tell me? Tell me, Spirit Guys. Tell me, Spirit Guys. What is going on with Capricorn's love life? This may not resonate with everyone, but I know there's some, one, someone, possibly, that will be able to pick this up and, and grow from this. So, Spirit Guys, can you tell me? What's going on? What's going on in Capricorn's love life? Can you show me what's going on in Capricorn's love life here in mid-January? It would be greatly appreciated, Spirit Guys. Thank you so much for letting me know and showing me what's going on in Capricorn's love life in January. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Can you tell me, Spirit Guys, what's going on for Capricorn? What's going on for Capricorn? What is going on in their love life for January? Please tell me, Spirit Guys, what's going on in Capricorn's love life for January? Show me, Spirit Guys. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Thank you, Ancestors, for giving me information. Here we go, Capricorn. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you got the Empress Capricorn. You got the Hierophant. You got the Two of Pentacles. You've got the two of swords. And you got the ten of cups. Wow. Woohoo. Cap, 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 cap. Capricorn. You have the Empress energy here. The Empress, like I said, I always say, I personally believe that the Empress is a very sensual woman. She's um, knows she's about it in the street. She's about it outside of uh, her. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, outside of her home. She's about it. But when she comes in, she takes care of everybody, um, and she knows how to most of all take care of her mate. And I think that's what's most about the empress. It could mean pregnancy. Maybe it could mean pregnancy or marriage. Pregnancy or someone in your life that um, is pregnant or someone is about to be pregnant. It could mean that as well. But I'm going to read from you from what I think as a storyline for these particular cards that I have. I believe that when you look at this, I think someone has made a decision because you're the two of swords here. But what has happened is the empress, and I, ha I have to say this, someone may be pregnant and you're going into marriage. I think that they, somewhat, that you have been juggling the idea of should I get married or should I not get married. married. And I really believe that is what is happening. So, Because when you have the empress here, like I said, she is the, I call her queen bee. I mean, I think she's one of the queen bees of a, uh, of the um zodiac of excuse me of the of the tarot cards i just think she is actually um the woman um the woe man she is the one and then you have the hierophant the hierophant is actually just a card of togetherness marriage um and then you have the two of pentacles the two of pentacles means that you're juggling things you're juggling you're trying to figure this out okay what do i go here do i go there so i think someone is pregnant or someone you know and you're thinking about marriage but you're afraid to go there but you're really really thinking about capricorn because you are one of those energies and you are one of those signs that definitely believe in taking care of their family so you get the two of swords and the two of swords is indecision the two of swords is indecision um, it's basically saying, I, I don't know what to do. You were juggling it here with the two of pentacles. You're trying to figure it out there with the two of pentacles, but you just can't figure it out. You're trying to get there. Then you got the two of sources just also means, um, indecision. Excuse me. Excuse me. Not also, but it, it means indecision. It means you have a couple of options and you're trying to figure out what the best option is. 
But then you got the Ten of Cups. So I believe the best option is to settle down with this person that may be um, marriage material, maybe someone in your life. Maybe they want children and you want children too. And I think you're just maybe a little bit scared. But we're going to see. We're going to clarify some cards here just to kind of see. Because this is a very interesting reading. It could go a couple of ways. So let's see. Spirit guys, can you show me what that Empress means? Can you show me, Spirit guy? What does that Empress mean for Capricorn? For mid January, what does that Empress mean for Capricorn for mid January? What does that Empress mean for Capricorn for mid January? Show me what that Empress card means for Capricorn for mid January. Please show me what that Empress card means. Let's see what you got. <laughs> you got Seven of Swords. So, what have you done? Something's happening to you or that other person. You guys have um, been going through some energy, maybe of Seven of Swords, and maybe you're not quite sure the child is yours. Or maybe you're just kind of trying to figure it out. Maybe you just want to pack up your cards, and your, your, excuse me, your your stuff and go home or go on about your business because you really don't know if you want to marry this person or not. Seven of Swords could mean deception and it always can go either way. But we're going to look and keep going. What does this Hierophant mean? What does this Hierophant mean? Show me what this Hierophant means, Spirit Guide. Show me what this Hierophant means, he, means here for Capricorn. Show me what the Hierophant card means here for Capricorn. Show me. Show me what it means for Capricorn. Okay. I got six of swords. I told you you're moving on. You're moving to, to calmer waters. And like I said, uh, somebody, I, I truly believe with this reading, someone has told you that they're expecting. You're not quite sure. You're not quite sure if you're the one that they're expecting by. Or you're just not quite sure. But then you got the six of swords on top of that hierophant, which means that you're moving to calmer water. So maybe they took the test. I don't know. Or maybe you just in your head and trying to, you know, find a way. How could this have happened? But nonetheless, the six of swords means you're moving to a calmer waters. Show me what that two of pentacles means. Show me. Clarify that two of pentacles for me. Please clarify that two of pentacles for me. I get seven of pentacles. I told you with the two of pentacles, you're judging and you see the seven of pentacles. You see how that that person there, see how they they have their hands crossed. They're like, ugh, you know, I don't know. They're in the defense mode. That's where you are, Capricorn. That's what I said. That's where you are. Um, you have your juggling. You're in your mind. You're trying to figure out, Lord, what, how did this happen? What what should I do? I uh, Do I love them? Do I not? They are my empress, but and, and I did see marriage with them, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. I didn't think they were going to get, get, you know, expecting become pregnant by me. But, you know, those things happen when you do adult folks things. But anyway, the seven of pentacles mean you're defensive about it. And that's what leads to this two of swords. So let's see what this clarification is for this two of swords. Let's see what the two of swords clarifies as. Let's see. Spirit guys, show me what this two of swords is. <laughs> Star. Could be an Aquarius person, but... Uh, Capricorn, that star means it's, it's very hopeful. It's very, very hopeful. You 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 have such great hope. You see, um, you're you're telling this. It's it's, it's you have such great hope for this situation because you really want to be a parent. It, whether I mean, whether you're a parent or not, but you want to be a parent. I think by this particular person, um, this star is is the hope card. It's an adoration card for me too, um, and it also can represent a Taurus. But I think that you have the two of swords and you come to your mind, like I said, you see that ten of swords there. You've come to your mind that this is what you want. So let's see. Let's see what that ten of, excuse me, ten of cups, not ten of swords, ten of cups. Show me that ten of cups. Show me, um, spirit guys, what that ten of cups means. So show me that, clarify that ten of cups for me. Show me, clarify that ten of cups for me. Clarify that ten of cups for me, spirit guys. Three of pentacles. You're about to have a child. Yep. You about to have a child. Um, and I think you're going to be doggone happy with it as well. Three of Pentacles means coming together. I don't know if you have other kids by uh, other people, but this particular person, you, you, you like this unison. You like this meeting of the minds. This um, person um, gives you great joy. Like I said, I think at the beginning, you had the Seven of Swords. You weren't quite sure. First of all, you had the Empress. Somebody was pregnant. Then you had the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, she was like, eh, <laughs> Not quite sure, don't really know, but then came the Hierophant. So then you start thinking about marriage, and then you had the Six of Swords. So then the Six of Swords means you start moving in your mind, in your brain. Okay, okay, what am I going to do? What's going to happen? What should I do? Then you had the Two of Pentacles, which means you were juggling. You were juggling everything. You 
One minute you're this way, next minute you're that way. One minute you're up, next minute you're down. Now, one minute you turn around, next thing you're looking up front. And then you have that seven of pentacles, which means you got defensive. Now, I don't know why you got defensive. You really shouldn't. Because, you know, like I said, grown folks' things bring about grown folks' things. You know what I mean? And then you have the two of swords when you were you moved into that, I don't think it could be mine. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't think it could be mine. Is it mine? I don't think it could be mine. Is it mine? Uh, and then you got that star on top of that two of swords where you finally said, you know what? I love this empress. I love her. And I, I, I think I'm tripping. I really, really do think I'm tripping. And I need to get it together because I think not only do you love her, you adore them. Now, this can go for a man as well. You can adore a man as well. And you could be pregnant by a man. I mean, you know, by someone and they're, 